welcome back to the Atari user channel this time around we're looking at the Atari XC11 so this cassette recorder was advertised in 1985 it didn't get its big reveal until the January 1986 CES show it was on sale for barely a year in Europe it didn't get a North American release the main difference between this and the cassette units that came before it is that this is powered via the SIO port so we're going to plug it in and then we'll go through the issues that this unit has so you can see this is now plugged in or connected to the computer rather so you got that big red LED on the front obviously with this being powered by the computer itself you're not going to get anything out of it unless the computer is actually turned on this particular unit uh, would actually load a cassette without any problems but it struggled with fast forward and rewind so those functions worked but then it was almost as if the belt was slipping so the x11 doesn't suffer from problems generally with the drive belts it's another problem altogether which i'm going to show you in a second using a different unit but before we do that you see you've got your various normal buttons to record fast forward pause eject and obviously play counter we've covered the sio port on the back which means that you don't have to have this at the end of your daisy chain obviously you can still only have one cassette unit connected because otherwise the computer is not going to know from which unit to actually load the cassette so let's have a look inside okay so we've actually switched to another xc11 to show you this part of the video which i'll explain the reasons why shortly so this one has been through a bit of a terrible past for want of a better description it looks like it's been in the bath or something it's very corroded doesn't work at all um so i'm going to use this uh, just for the purposes of demonstrating the problem and how to solve it so the first thing you do when you open it up is obviously the bottom is connected to the upper part of the casing and obviously the internals by two lots of wires so there's two connectors one here one here now the best thing to do would be to disconnect those but if you've got a way of resting the side up like this as long as you go carefully you should be okay so this was the site essentially that greeted me when i opened up the xc11 so i didn't think too much of it you see that everything's turning as it should so the first thing i did was replace the drive belt so there's three belts in here this one here is the counter drive belt and this one controls the fast forward and rewind so this is how things looked when i opened up the unit and with one difference in that i was greeted by this mystery spring I couldn't work out where this spring went so i opened up the second unit which is this one and was once again greeted by this mystery spring having changed the drive belt nothing worked at all so i had no play no fast forward no rewind so it was a bit of a mystery after a bit of head scratching i kind of worked out that this spring sits on top of this spindle here or this wheel this wheel actually lifts up so that sits like that that will be pressed down and then you've got like a small plastic cap or washer that sits on top of that and holds it in place so what happens is that with age these become brittle they may develop a bit of a crack they may become loose and they start to pop off which is why the rewind and fast forward function doesn't work or doesn't work as it should and that's why you end up when you end up opening these things up you end up with a spring floating around so for demonstration purposes you need to put this spring on top of the wheel press it down which i'm doing very badly 
and then it would be a case of putting this black cap on the top like that and as you can see it's popping off although yeah so you can see yeah it's popping off so this is actually the, the problem so this seems to the purpose of the spring is to I'm guessing cause some tension which actually allows this then to work properly so these two belts feed off each other and actually if this isn't set up properly nothing works so you're going to need to super glue the bottom of the spring onto the top of this plastic part here press it down and obviously if you've got a cap like mine which is cracked or loose and doesn't stay on you're going to need to super glue this cap in place so it doesn't pop off again it's not ideal but once you've done that you'll find that your fast forward and rewind functions as well as play are working as they should now the xc11 doesn't seem to suffer from drive belt issues so it doesn't have the pulley problem that we've seen in the 410 so this is the thing to look out for so if, you, if you've got a problem with generally function with general functionality or your fast forward or rewind isn't working then you're probably going to find that this spring has popped out because this end cap has probably failed once you've done that glued it back in so remember glue it to the bottom press it down put the cap back on the top if it doesn't stay in you're gonna to have to super glue it in although it seems to have stayed in there look how long that'll last by itself it's probably not very long and then you should be good to go